In this video, we're going to look at how to set up triggers inside PowerShell Universal. Triggers are the ability to run PowerShell scripts when certain events happen inside your PowerShell Universal environment. You can think of triggers as a, a good use case would be for you know setting up notifications to a Slack channel, email, something like that. Um, when jobs fail, uh, users are logging in, um, app tokens that are expired are being used, that kind of thing. So uh, to set up triggers, what we're going to do is we're actually going to click Automation and then Triggers. From there, you can click Create New Trigger. First, we'll have to name it. So I'll say this is going to be my failed job trigger. And then from there, I'm going to select a script to run when this trigger occurs. So I'm going to use my trigger.ps1 script. And then from there, I can select the event that uh, is triggering this script. So we have things like canceling jobs, jobs that are failing, um, when the server starts or stops, when the dashboard starts or stops, when a user logs in, uh, when a revoked app token is used, or there's an error with an endpoint. So in this case, I'm just going to use a failed job. You do have some additional configuration options. So I could run this in a particular environment. And I could run this only when a certain script fails. So depending on the trigger that you or the event type that you're selecting, you will have a different drop down here. So for example, if I were to select dashboard, I would select my dashboard. But in this case, uh, I can choose to select a particular script. If you don't select a script, it means when any script fails. So that's what I'm going to leave it at, kind of like a global trigger. And then I can select uh, a number of seconds to wait before firing off this trigger. So I'll just leave that as default so it'll fire off the trigger right away. So if I click OK, I have my trigger now configured and it's ready to go. Um, and let's just take a look at some scripts in my environment that will cause this trigger to happen. So I'm going to my scripts page. First of all, I have script.ps1, and it's very boring. All it does is throw an exception, and it's just throwing, oh no, so it's causing the script to fail, which you can see over here, it's failed every time I've run it. The reason that actually causes the script to fail is because I've actually set the error action to stop. Uh, by default, things are set to continue, so um, non-terminating non errors and that kind of thing will allow the script to uh, continue and be marked as successful even if it writes errors to the error stream. But since I set it to stop, it's going to uh, cause that job to fail um, when I run it. The other script that I have uh, implemented inside this environment is trigger.ps1. So this is my trigger script. This is what is pretty much run when that job fails. And depending on your trigger script or the event type, you're going to receive different parameters. In the case of a job starting or failing or um, being canceled, uh, you're going to receive a job parameter. And that's actually a job object that has all kinds of information about the job, like the ID of the job, who started the job, um, all kinds of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, just show a burnt toast notification. So in a server environment, this wouldn't work, but I'm just kind of running this as a desktop application. So if you were using PowerShell Universal Desktop, you could also do something like this, uh, where it could catch any job failure and show a notification. So I'm just going to pop up a notification uh, for when a job fails. So now if I go to scripts, I click script or run script. I'm just going to leave all these as default. Click OK. And now you can see in the bottom right here, I got a burnt toast notification for job 10 failing. So I ran this script. And if we actually go over to our jobs table, you'll see that I actually had two jobs run uh, a few seconds ago. So the first one was uh, script.ps1, which failed. And you can see even if I hover over it, it says, oh, no, because that was the error message I got out of there. Um, and that was run manually by me on the desktop. And then after that, we had a triggered script run. So you can actually see this little icon here um, displays that this was a triggered script um, from script.ps1. So uh, this was triggered from a failed job, and um, it was run on my desktop. And that was what actually popped up the burnt toast notification. So there are a bunch of different ways you can use triggers. Uh, I think most people are using them from notifications, but you can also do it for um, you know, restarting particular jobs or rerunning things or updating, you know, websites based on information that may, may have happened in those triggered, triggered scripts. 
Um, and it's a really useful way to kind of build like uh, intelligent pipelines out of some of the code that you have inside your PowerShell Universal environment.